So what's going on everybody, welcome back to this channel where in today's video we're going to be going through these steps in order to complete the easter egg within classified. If you're new around here and you've not yet subscribed to the channel then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more zombies videos and with all that out of the way let's get straight into the steps in order to get the classified easter egg completed. It's actually a pretty easy easter egg to do as well so I'm pretty sure that all of you will be able to get this completed. Now the first step for this easter egg is to go ahead and turn on the pack punch. If you don't know how to turn the pack punch on then go ahead down in the description below or in the card in the top right hand corner will be a tutorial for the pack punch which will show you where all the locations for the pieces are but assuming you already know how to get the pack punch open go ahead to the pack punch area and you what you need to do is get an explosive weapon for example i use the welling pistol which is the starting pistol but you could also use any weapon pretty sure ray guns for instance would work or anything that's just explosives but I would definitely recommend using the starting pistol, which is the Wellen. So once you've upgraded your pistol, the next thing I would recommend to do before you do anything else is to survive three full rounds down at the pack punch area. When you survive three full rounds at the pack punch without going back to classified, you will have an area over to the left hand side of the pack punch that will open up. It will give you a max ammo and a bonfire cell. The bonfire cell, if you don't know, will make all pack punch weapons 1000 points for like 30 seconds or so. So if you get that and you want to pack a punch, definitely go ahead and pack a punch like really quick in those 30 seconds. But what this also does is open up an area that you need to do for the very last step of the Easter egg to do with this red box over here. But as long as you've got that area opened up, then it's going to stay opened up for the rest of the game. So essentially, this whole Easter egg revolves around you getting four sets of codes and you get those codes by doing certain tasks. For the first set of codes, what you want to do is come over to the presidential hallway right here and you've got all these paintings of the presidents down on both the left and the right side. This is where you're going to need your explosive weapons because what you need to do is shoot all of these paintings on the walls within a certain time frame. You have to do it as fast as you can really and once you've shot them all and you make sure that all of them's been shot with explosives and underneath where George Washington's painting is is going to be a plate and on that plate is going to be a set of four numbers. You want to put these numbers down because these numbers will change every game. In my instance this is 5700. Also behind these numbers are going to be a picture. In this instance this is always going to be Shino Numa. Even though you can't see it because it's been blown up by the explosive weapons behind this number is going to be Shino Numa. Once you've done that go down to the war room and opposite the perk machine inside of the war room is going to be a key cabinet. What you want to do is go over to this key press and just get the key that's at number 5. If you hold square it will just pick up the key anyway but it's going to be the 5th key which looks different to all the rest. And obviously it's key number 5 because the original app is 5. But once you pick that key up, head back up in the elevator. And once the elevator doors open on the upstairs level, head straight down the corridor, go through the doorway. And in the same room as the brew machine, on the right hand side is going to be a table with a little keyhole. You want to hold square and this will open up the drawer which will reveal the second of four codes. Again, you want to drop this code down for one of the last steps of this easter egg. And behind these numbers is going to be the Reza. So for your third set of numbers, what you want to do is head down to the laboratory area and find this window right here which has like a teleporter at the back. Now I would recommend first of all to get this barrier broken down by zombies as it will make this step a little bit easier for you. And what you want to do is throw a grenade behind the teleporter and make it explode. It took me a few tries to get this to work so I don't know whether there's a sweet spot where this actually will work. But if you keep on throwing grenades behind this teleporter, eventually you'll get one that will explode in the right place. And then right there on the wall on the right hand side next to the window is going to be your third set of numbers. Again, jot these numbers down and I'm pretty sure that's Shangri-La in the background, although I could be wrong with that one. And for your fourth and final set of codes, what you want to do is come to the war room and you want to activate the DEFCONs in a particular order. So the first DEFCON you want to activate is going to be upstairs and it's going to be the one furthest away from the stairs you walk up. So you go up the stairs, go to the one that's furthest away, activate that one, come downstairs and the second DEFCON that you need to activate is going to be in the new room, which is the server room, and it's going to be the DEFCON in the server room. The third DEFCON you need to activate is going to be back upstairs, and it's going to be the one next to the stairs where you walk up. So walk upstairs, activate that one. And your fourth DEFCON to activate will be the last one, which is going to be down the stairs right in front of you. Once you've done the DEFCONs in this particular order, go to any teleporter in the map that has the spinning president's head on it. You can actually use any teleporter in the map, apart from the one that has the pack punch symbol in it. So in this case, I use one that's in the spawn area. I use it as long as it's got the president's head, it's going to be fine because it'll take you to the right room. And then when you go in this teleporter, it will take you into that room where you get one of their pack punch pieces. But come over to the left hand side and there's going to be a TV with a load of static on it. Go over to that TV, hold square, it will then get pushed back. And below where the TV was is going to be your fourth and final set of codes. Once again, jot those codes down. And the picture behind these codes is going to be Kino. So if you've made it this far, you've almost completed the entire Easter egg of Classified, believe it or not. 
what you have to do at this point is actually enter in all these codes into the machine that's in the war room. So the reason I've been telling you if it's Kino, Shangri-La, Shinonuma or Doriza is because they're actually in a particular order on this machine. Now this machine, to my knowledge, will pop up in the order that we've just got these codes. So the first one that pops up on this machine will be the code that we got from the presidents. And then the second one will be the second set of codes we got in this tutorial. The third one on this machine will be the third one we got in this tutorial. And the fourth one on this machine will always be the TV one. But just in case there is a picture on the screen with the map as well, just to help you out if you need to. So simply from here, what you need to do is just enter in the code. So you need to shoot these numbers from the flip through the numbers. And then once you've entered in the code correctly for the first set, you wanna hold square on the button on the side and then it will give you a little noise which will say yes or no. So as long as you've entered it incorrectly, then you go on to the second set of numbers. Then once you've done a second set, go on to the third. Once you've done the third, go on to your fourth set of numbers. If you do any of these wrong, then you will have to reset from the first set of numbers again and do the entire lot again. Doing this on solo can be a bit annoying because you obviously have to keep a zombie, but because zombies in Black Ops 4 will like die after a while, so if it dies out and you go on to the next round, then I'm pretty sure these numbers will not reset because you're taking too long. Like you can take as long as you need, to my knowledge, and it will still be fine. Just don't hold square when it's on the wrong set of numbers, otherwise it will reset. So once you've done all four codes correctly, it should have a black screen with the writing that says Project Scaddy Revealed. If you've got this far, then you're literally so close to completing the Easter egg. From this point, all you need to do is activate all four DEF CONs in any order, go to the Pack Punch area, and once you're in the Pack Punch area, what you need to do is go over to this area that we opened up earlier on. On this red box is going to be a little briefcase thing that you need to open up. Open up the briefcase, and you have a winter's howl that you can pick up. Pick up the winter's howl, and there you go. That is the entire Easter egg in classified completed. There is no ending cutscene for this, although you do get a trophy for it. Now I'm I'm a little bit disappointed. There's no ending cutscene for classified, as it's the first of all four Easter eggs to be completed within Black Ops 4. So it's a little bit disappointing as. Like it's making me think maybe there won't be any ending cutscene for any of the other maps. And it's also the first track zombie map to not have an ending cutscene in for a very long time. So I'm a bit disappointed with that. But overall it's still a pretty cool easter egg. And it's actually a really easy one as well. Like I said all you have to do really for the entire easter egg is get these numbers. Enter them into the machine. And then go to the pack punch and you've got a winter's how. It is a cool easter egg. I am just a bit disappointed there's no ending cutscene. But anyway, that is going to be it for this tutorial. I hope this was easy to follow and if it was, please make sure to leave a like rating on the video and subscribe to this channel for more zombies content. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and peace out.